everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my second video of 2019, even though I'm filming it in 2018 on the very, very, very last day, but it goes up on Friday. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm doing my first foundation review on in a long, long, long time. I've not done a foundation review in ages. I can link a playlist somewhere up here maybe, um, of previous foundation reviews I've done. I've done a few um, and I really want to get back into them because it was one of my favourite videos to do because I love, love foundation. I love concealer and eyeshadow as well but foundation is such an important product. So we today are testing the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. My voice may still be a little bit husky. Maybe I'm at the sexy stage, I don't know. Um, my cold though is so much better. Um, in this you get 0 0.25 ounces or 7.2 grams for 42 pounds. And as I said in my most recent um, video, what I got for Christmas, this is probably the most expensive foundation I've ever bought, I think. I think it is. I think even my YSL one was cheaper than this. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be doing this wear test today. So you'll all have seen it, this isn't a new foundation, but for people like me that have really held off on buying it, maybe this is a good video for you to see if it is actually worth the money. Um, so mine is the shade Linen, it is slightly too dark for me. If you can see my chest is a bit paler and also it's more yellow toned. Um, I needed a more neutral or pink undertone, but I picked my colour online, so that's what happened. So it comes in this triangle, and if I roll it all the way up, which I haven't actually done, bear in mind I've now used it once. Um, is it still going? That is how much product you get in it, that much. A yeah, pretty decent amount, uh, 7.2 grams like we discussed. I got this on John Lewis, and um, you can get it tons and tons of places. So as usual with my foundation reviews, I'm going to prime half my face, apply the foundation, see how it looks. I'm going to do um, wear test and a check-in. I can't do like lots of check-ins like I usually do like every four or five hours because I'm actually going to work now and it's New Year's Eve today. So straight after work, I'm going to go join my in-laws and we're going to go watch the fireworks in Edinburgh. Edinburgh New Year, by the way, is spectacular. And then I'll probably do a check-in when I come home just before I like shower and get it all off. So it might even be like 2 a.m., hopefully like 1 a.m. because I don't want to be up that late. But yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. And if you want to see how this looks on the skin, close-ups, how it stays on throughout the day with absolutely no touch-ups to my skin whatsoever, no matter how bad it gets, if it gets bad, then please just do keep on watching. So I am going to moisturise, I'm going to use my Peter Thomas Roth um, water drench crowd, crowd, cloud, cloud cream moisturiser just because my cold I think is just making my skin like poo especially around my nose and then as usual I'm going to prime half of my face and the primer that I've been using for a long time and also for most of my foundation reviews is the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. So I'm going to put this on one half of my face and then we can see if there's any difference between like application or how long it lasts or what it looks like on the skin. So I'm going to put it on this uh, right side of my face and just blend that in. something that Shanix always does and I started foundation reviews after watching hers. I always think she does the best foundation reviews. Right now by the way it's just about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's not that early however considering I don't actually finish work till half past 10 I'm gonna have this foundation on for at least 12 hours. So I'm gonna take it out of the box. I'm so excited to use this. I got the shade Linen, if I forgot to mention that. I haven't even swatched it yet, it's perfect. So let's see what the shade is gonna look like on me. That'll be fine. If anything, it's a little bit dark, but I mean, let's just go in. So I'm gonna go in my um, unprimed side first. I'll put like, Three big streaks there, a couple on my forehead, down the side of my nose. 
I just want to do one side and see what it looks like. Um, and I'm just going to use my Real Technique sponge. I did just wash it, although it looks really groy. And try and blend it in with a sponge because I much prefer a sponge for foundation anyway. I've not read the claims of this foundation yet. I'll do that once I've applied it to see if I agree with them. But I think it's supposed to be like full coverage, pretty long lasting. Yeah, it's probably just a pinch too yellow for me. I think if it was more neutral, it would be fine. Or even a pinch more pink. But I'll be able to make it work. Blending out very, very, very easy with that sponge. That was a super quick process. It's nice to say so far medium coverage. I'm definitely going to use another layer, you know me. So there's no makeup. And there's makeup. Can't see if I'm in focus. No makeup. No makeup. I've got makeup on this side. Let's do about the same amount on this side. Even us up and then go in with a second layer probably. It's really nice, like it's not mega, 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 mega creamy, but it is creamy enough. You can see I am blending it out with a sponge. I am more kind of dragging than patting, like I'm dragging and patting. But so I don't really mind that. Well, you shouldn't really drag your skin around too much, should you? So that's one layer. It's definitely like mostly evened out my skin tone, but I can still see blemishes, kind of patches where I'd like more coverage. Let me show you. That's one layer. So I'm quickly going to add more coverage where I want it. So like here, I feel like I don't have that much. Um, a bit on my forehead. And I feel like my temples got a little bit missed out. And just the nose for luck. Um, it's just such an expensive foundation. I think when you've got like a high-end expensive foundation, you don't want to need to use too much of it. And to be honest, I mean... I would have been confident just putting concealer on to build up the coverage and I would have been fine with that but I like to see what kind of coverage I can get just from the foundation. I just feel like I didn't put any here. Building really nicely, no problems blending on top of itself. I wouldn't say the prime side looks any better than the unprimed side and it didn't apply any easier either. Um, yeah, it's nice. My skin's got a little bit of luminosity to it. It's nice. I'm not like blown away by it. But I imagine if I had a perfect colour match, I might be a little bit more like, ooh. Because right now I'm like, oh, it's a bit dark. I need to kind of correct myself a little bit here. But yeah, pretty nice. And there we go. That's two layers on. Doesn't seem cakey or anything. nice. So as usual I'm now going to go away put on all the rest of my makeup completely finish off my face. I'm going to use products that I know and love and trust. I'm not going to like try out any new products today um, and then I will come back show you the finished look with all the rest of my makeup on and how it looks with powders and everything and then we will do wear tests. I don't think I'm going to be able to do wear tests at all throughout the day. I'm just going to have to show you it at the very end of the day before I go to sleep because I'm going to be at work until half past 10 and then probably I watch the fireworks and with my in-laws slow work probably 2am or something so I'll be back really really late so maybe on my outro I'm going to be like super grumpy I don't know yet but this is what it looks like two layers on shade linen so you can see it is too dark for me but I'll be able to make it work it's just a bit too yellow I think but for this price I'm making it work and also I think I'm going to be wearing quite a high jumper today anyway so it's fine. So yeah, I'll see you soon with all the rest of my face on. So now I've finished off the rest of my makeup, I'm going to, I'll show you a close up in a minute of everything. But I'm just going to read a little bit of information about the product to see if I can agree with what they're saying it is. 
Um, so, let me see, details. A revolutionary foundation stick with the coverage of a concealer, the fluidity of a liquid, the weightlessness of a powder in a long wearing waterproof formula for undetectable full coverage. The unprecedented concentration of pigment in this foundation provides maximum coverage with minimum product, concealing all discoloration and imperfections for flawless skin with a seamless finish. It won the best foundation in the InStyle 2017 awards. Um, that's it, that's all it said. It's 42 pounds as well, we didn't mention that. Um, like I said, I'm wearing a high neck jumper. I'm very cozy today because it's really cold at work. And I think it's fine, like it, you can't see my body, so the color's fine. In terms of how my skin looks, I actually really, really like how it looks up close. Um, see, I think I look flawless and good coverage and I'm, I'm very confident with how my skin looks. But up close, I mean, my pores aren't like minimised on either side of my face, to be honest. So it's not like a pore minimiser. It's kind of sitting in my fine lines of my forehead. Mm, quite badly, I feel like you can see them pretty badly. But, I mean, overall it does look nice. But it will be very interesting to see how it holds up for like the next 12, 14 hours because um, it does say it's long wearing and in terms of coverage I would say it's definitely more like medium full than full coverage like I've got way more foundations that are super full coverage this is more just like medium full on me but let me show you a close up before my battery dies so that is my skin up close That is it on my forehead lines. This girl is getting Botox in 2019. <laughs> and ignore my brows, they're a catastrophe today, but anyway. I mean, so far I'm not blown away, but I definitely like it. It's 11.34, so it's been on for an hour and a half. This is gonna be probably my first and only check-in until the very end. Just wanna quickly get it done before my battery dies. So yeah, pretty pleased, let's see how it holds up. I'll be back in a pretty long time after a day at work and after seeing the fireworks and everything so yeah pretty pleased so far let's see how it holds up also no setting spray and no touch ups throughout the day the only thing i'm going to touch up is my lipstick if i need to okay bye well hello everybody and happy new year officially even though you're watching this a few days after new year what's the matter i'm just home and i'm actually home a bit earlier than i thought i would be so let me get my jacket off the time is half past midnight, so I've had this foundation on for 14 and a half hours, I think. So, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Let's do a close up. I haven't even touched up my lips, didn't bother. I've had a hat on, that's the only thing, so I think that's gonna kind of impact slightly my forehead. Why is it so dark? This is my skin up close. I'll zoom in a bit more when I'm editing because this lighting is going bananas. There's like three glasses of Prosecco at this point. So ignore my lipstick, but this is what the foundation looks like on my skin. On my forehead, bear in mind I've had a beanie hat on for like two hours now. I think on my cheeks it looks really good and it's not come off at all but around my nose it's looking pretty cakey you know just in those crevices and in my smile lines which I can definitely just wipe away but it definitely gathers in smile lines but overall having this foundation on for like 14 and a half hours almost 15 hours I think it looks pretty darn good and usually sick foundations don't last that well in my experience, like they get quite greasy, quite oily and honestly, usually I have to like re-powder my face and I definitely could like, let me do it. Well, where's my brush? I'll just get my brush that has old product left on it. So yeah, just by dabbing that on. I mean, everything looks fine. And if I like, just reapplied my lipstick, I think my makeup would look 
like really good. I'm trying to find my mirror. It's definitely broken up a little bit on my nose. I don't know if you can see, it's definitely broken up on my nose. But realistically, it's not that bad. Overall, I'm actually really pleased with this foundation considering it's a stick foundation. I think it is really good. It's very expensive and I do have foundations that I prefer. So it's not something that I'd be like, go and buy this foundation, go and buy it, you need it. It is not that at all. Whereas, for example, I feel like that about my Maybelline Super Stay, which is £10. And I also feel that way about my Revolution Pro Foundation Drops, which are £7. So these two foundations, I would actually say go and buy these before you go and buy the Hourglass. And if you want to get a high-end recommendation, I probably can't recommend um, the NARS Radiant Longwear, whatever it's called, the Taller Bottle, or the my Clinique Beyond Perfecting. So there's definitely high-end and luxury foundations that I prefer more, but it is fine. I do like it and I'm definitely going to keep using it, especially because I've paid £42 for it. So yeah, I will keep using it, but I'm not like over the moon. I'm also not unhappy. Hopefully that helps. Like I said, I've had a few glasses of Prosecco and probably nothing makes sense. So I'm going to go and have a shower and go to bed. I have to be up for work in a few hours. And yeah, I hope you had a good new year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and also subscribe. And also leave me a comment. Anything you want. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.